Well, hey friends, it's Emily. I just logged out of work, got all my projects done for the day. Ooh, gonna yawn a little bit. How exciting, Doyle's down there. However, I have, I don't know, it's not really sad news, it's just frustrating news. Yeah, frustrating news. So, um, if you guys have been watching my health journey, here's a little update. So I filed my appeal. Well, let's, let's reverse a little bit. So if you're new here, hey, I have what is called a hiatal hernia and it gives me horrible, horrible reflux as well as lots of problems with over ass, like over active acid in my stomach. Um, so I have a lot of problems sleeping, laying down, um, even bending over is really difficult. Um, I like constantly feel like I have to throw up, which is really gross. Um, uh, but that's how it feels. Anyway, um, this past summer, fall, uh, finally got an endoscopy and found out that I have a hiatal hernia. Um, ever since then I've been on a journey to fix the damn thing. Um, I went and I met with the surgeon after being on medication for quite a while and uh, the medications are not fully working in my body unfortunately. So what that means is is I can't have the regular hiatal hernia surgery which my insurance covers. Okay we're gonna talk about insurance now. Um, so the only surgical way to make this better which is gonna sound crazy and really extreme it's called a ruin Y. It's gastric bypass surgery. Um, the reason that that works so well is because, um, you know, they just replug your innards basically. They still make your stomach really tiny. Um, they do repair the hernia as well as um, it's a lot more difficult for the acid. Um, there's not as much acid in the stomach anymore and it has to like travel a lot faster, or not faster, uh, travel a lot farther to get to my throat to make me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Okay, so that being said, um, in my area, I had to go through like a whole weight loss program even though I wasn't doing the weight loss surgery to lose weight. So I did the entire program. I started it in very end of December, early January, and just finished it in, gosh, I think my last appointment. I don't know when my last appointment was. I think it was March, so like, so like very early March. So once that happened, um, so that took a while. Um, and then once that I completed everything uh, to, for the program, the insurance specialist at the program sent in all of my information to my insurance company. It's called pre-authorization. And we knew we were going to get denied because my insurance doesn't cover weight loss surgery because they feel like it's an elective surgery unless you have all of these other health problems, which fortunately I don't, but unfortunately I don't. So uh, they denied it, which we totally thought was going to happen. Then you can do one of two things. You can do a client, myself, appeal, or you can do a physician appeal. I was encouraged to do a client appeal um, to like just basically tell my story. And I did. And I got a letter in the mail saying no dice. The decision is still being upheld that it's denied. So I'm like, great. Um, now, what we're doing is I emailed the um, physician that I'm working with, so her nurse is going to see this, um, and then the, she'll work with the insurance specialist, so now they can appeal it through the physician's office. Um, my, the way my insurance works is sometimes you can do two appeals and sometimes you can only do one appeal. Mine is you can only do one appeal, so I've already done mine, and you have a second one with your physician, which sounds weird, but it's like, it still counts as one. It's very strange. So I can't personally appeal again. Um, so yeah, so I have my doctor's office working on that. And then um, if that doesn't happen, then I also have another appeal I can do where basically like a third party looks at everything, but that's the last straw, like that's it. So yeah, I'm just, I feel really defeated. Ugh, I don't know, it's just so frustrating because my insurance would have covered my hiatal hernia surgery anyways. It's about the same cost. I just, I don't understand. Like quality of life, people, quality of life. Ugh. I mean, I know right now, like 
I know people are probably typing in the comments. It's okay. Um, but I know right now I can't actually get the surgery right now because everything that's happening out in the world and they're not doing quote unquote, like non-essential surgeries. I totally get it. Um, but man, I just, I just want the approval. So I know that there is an end in sight. Um, I am taking so many medications, you guys, like it is so bad. Um, medications that make me have migraines and then I have to take other medications so I don't get migraines and then I get like crazy lucid like weird dreams that I've been having for months um like they're so realistic that I have to check my phone and check like text messages and phone logs and see if I actually talked to this person or went to this place like I I check bank records you guys like it's weird um, and I'm pretty sure it's a dream, but it takes me a little while to get out of it too. So anyway, there's a lot of weird side effects um, to all these medications and I'm sure it's not great for my body to be ingesting all of these. I don't know. I'm on like a ton of acid reducers and blockers, you guys, but they're still not totally working because I have to take all those Tums and I don't know. I still don't sleep well. Anyway. I'm gonna stop bitching, <laughs> so <laughs> whatever. Doyle's down there. I am gonna go downstairs. Um, it's like 4.45 and um, I'm gonna maybe watch a little TV. Um, I'm thinking about watching Pretty, not Pretty Little Liars, what is it called? Big, big Little Lies? Lies, Little, Big, big Lies? I don't know. Um, it's like that show, that HBO show with Reese Witherspoon, anyways. Um, I had it on my list and I kind of wanted to start watching it. So um, I think I might turn that on and just chill out for a little bit because I'm just not in a great mood. Sorry, sorry. If you're looking for fun, I'm not it. <laughs> you can click out now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, but yeah, uh, work was good. I had a, a good meeting today. I had to deal with some stuff and um, just like little tasks that needed to be done is what I did today. Not very exciting, but nonetheless, we're here. And tomorrow, the day you guys are seeing this, it is the Erin Condren Public Life Planner launch. So if you're not an insider, it's open to the general public now. So um, if you're interested in getting a life planner, put your, not put your information. I'm sorry, the link is down below. Oh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. And then, um, yeah, you can get some of these bad boys. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Ugh. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just mad at the world. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop because I'm in a bad mood. And, um, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, good evening. I'm back for all the fun. I haven't sat on the sofa in a while, like, on the vlog. I sit on the sofa regularly, <laughs> just not on the vlog. Doyle is here. He just um, drank all the water. So he's staying hydrated, this little guy. So yeah, just hanging out. I'm not really doing much. I just had like the most boring dinner. I had um, like a little cheesy roll up. So you just take a little bit of cheese and put it on a soft tortilla and roll it up. I just really didn't feel like making anything. I feel like some days I'm like super motivated. I'm like, I want to make all the things. And other days it's just, it's not happening, you know? <laughs> anyway, at least it's like, that was a little bit more effort than making popcorn, like microwave popcorn. So that's good. Um, and I've got my water here. This is my second water of the day. Like I had two of these today. So I'll finish this before I go to bed. Um, and I'm gonna go to bed probably in about an hour or so. I'm currently, uh, or will be, watching uh, Vanderpump Rules. I am a little bit of a sucker for some reality TV. It's just, it's just the way it is. If you guys like reality TV, let me know what shows you like below. Um, yeah, I really, I don't know what it is about this show, but I actually quite like it. Um, I don't know. I think I like it because at the end of the day, the majority of the cast of characters like are genuine friends and enjoy each other. And like some of the housewife franchises, like I do like some of them, but you can just tell like it's just for show. 
I don't know. I mean, these people is just, I don't know. It's just hard to say. It's hard to say. But um, I don't know. I like them. I think that they all, you know, at the end of the day, really enjoy being around each other, whether there are cameras or not, maybe. I don't know. That's just the impression that I get. I could be way off base. I don't know. I don't know any of them personally. And I'm fairly certain that none of them watch this. So that's all right. Um, but yeah, but I'm going to call it quits here. I drink the rest of my water and then I'm going to watch a little Vanderpump rules. Um, I don't really usually make a schedule to watch it, but I'm like, oh, there's a new episode on tonight. I might as well watch it. Doyle is going to sit over in the corner and just be a dober. You want to say anything to your friends, bud? No, he's he's all curled up into his little cinnamon bun. That's that's what a cinnamon bun looks like. But anyway, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, and I'm gonna see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.